the count of three, we got three, two, one. Yo! Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we're in the amazing digital circus RP, which is as quack as I say, yes, it's in Roblox. It is indeed. And the reason we are back into this game with a bunch of people with us today is because there has been an update since the, uh, well, the most recent trailer for episode two. Which, as you will see on the screen right now, we have a few new characters that was literally shown to us in literally a couple of seconds being shown on the screen. And we had slowed this down in the previous video, but there is a new area. There is indeed called the Candy Canyon Kingdom, which, if we tilt our heads over here, is this pink area we've got on this side of the map. Yep, that's right. When we last played this... The shop which we can see here was actually over in this location. And I can see Galaxy is saying it's so detailed. I mean, honestly, it is uh, amazing. Like Hugo is, it's absolutely amazing. So uh, given that we've got platforms or scaffolding kind of around the area, I don't know if it's still a work in progress. So um, maybe you guys might know something a little bit more than me on this at this point in time because I haven't actually played this uh, you know, since the last updated. And so not only have we got a few of the new characters to check out, but I really was hoping we had something quite cool to see in this Candy Canyon Kingdom, which um, I'm near the top of this at, uh, oh, oh, um, I don't think there's actually anything to do. This is literally undercover. Um, guys, I don't think this is actually ready yet. I, I, I think it's still a work in progress. The closest thing for the Candy Canyon Kingdom so far in this game is the pink floor and the pink trees. There's no actual candy here yet, which is a bit of a shame. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because we've actually got a character which is made of candy. So we've got a few characters if I just bring up the morphs list here. If I scroll down, you will see... We've got these ones with question names above their heads. So we've got four of the potential, I think it's like seven or eight new characters that have been hinted for the next episode, which I want to show and share with you because I've got one actually called Orpman. Actually, I've just seen what Crackers is saying. And funny enough, that is what I have as a name for it as well. Honestly, uh, uh, oh, Galaxy's saying the brown one's called Poo. Ah, I don't think it is called Poo. We'll have a quick look. So going down the list, the first one is the orb character. So I've hit this button. Honestly, this is so cool. So we've played this game before and also previous games by Dark. Because um, you'll probably recognize this logo all the way over here. If I just walk over it to very slowly, which is the customized roleplay of Rainbow Friends. Which if you've seen my previous videos, you will see that the morphs that he creates are very well and very detailed. Oh, no, I go quack and say, no way. Is that Blue Rainbow Friends? And Hugo say that this one is his favorite. So straight away, I can see there's no emote. There's no jump scare. There's nothing to do to make it do something a little bit exciting. I thought this was going to be just another bubble character, but I also found online, a bit like Quackers, that this has a name of Orbsman kind of floating around or orb man what are the two will the newbie say it's probably gumball man to be fair orbsman gumball man guys let me know in the comments below which one you think it could be or if you know something that we don't hey let me know in the comments because i'll be curious to know what the names of all of these characters i'm about to show you are what i will say on the next one is this adorable ghost thing. Now, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be like Goofy or something like that. This ghost one or it's Boo from Luigi's Mansion. Which actually, funny you say that, newbie. We're about to go somewhere in this game. And there is a reference to that. Which is uh, actually quite funny. I like that. That's pretty cool. But I can see that... Uh, who is this? I've mean, got so many of us being the same character. Who is this one next to me? Galaxy, I think, who's spinning on the spot doing helicopter. Helicopter! helicopter. helicopter. There is no emotes or kind of uh you know anything that we normally do like jump scare the actual design if i put the image of it up next to this you could see that they look very similar and the design of it's really really cool and i think it's probably one of the most cutest characters we've had in the series so far i don't know if you guys agree but i'm really looking forward to episode two to see actually how it moves and how what it looks like and what it does but overall this is pretty cool and i think we should move on to the next character, which on the list is this 
ginormous turd poo. Whatever it is, I don't know, but with like gobstopper eyes and the uh, sweet teeth. And obviously, the thing I like about this so far is the fact that it's the closest thing to a candy creature we've had so far, both in this game. And I can see Hugo said it's a diarrhea blob. Okay, so uh. what is this meant to be called? If you guys have any idea what it's meant to be called, because I don't think it's going to be called poop or poo or just anything like that. I have a strange suspicion it might be called candy monster. Something like that. What's he saying? Ah, he said, is it chocolate with candy corn and jawbreakers? I actually think it's meant to be. I think you might be onto something there, newbie. Going back to the character, the animation's pretty cool. This is exactly how I expect it to kind of move around, a bit like a slime. That's my kind of idea of this actual character. But I like the details with the gobstopper's eyes and the teeth as these, like, candy corn. That is what I meant, and this is what I like. And look at this. We've made just one really big monster with six eyes and three mouths, and yes, that would be quite terrifying. Next on the list, what we got, as you can see, newbie saying it's pretty scary. What we have got, if I'm going to actually go to the hallway for this one, because I think this is going to be pretty well suited. It should look pretty cool. And that is to scroll down to this character here. So you know we have Queenie. Well, we had Queenie. Bless. She's moved on now. But we also have Kinga chilling about. And you can see we have got Candy Princess, or I know it as Princess Candy. Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time is very well spot on, but this is the second most candy-like creature which we'll very much see in this new candy. You got some royalty in the Amazing Digital Circus where you got Queenie Kinga and now you've got a princess. Crackers is just saying, I've just noticed a lollipop head. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, I didn't even notice that. That is genuinely a lollipop stick with a lollipop face. Although Galaxy is saying, if you look close to her face, you can see watermarks. Oh, <gasps> wait, wait, wait. That is unbelievable. What does it say? 123RF? Is that what it says? Uh, I never noticed. Funny enough, while we're in the hallway, there is a reason I brought us here because of these beautiful pictures on the wall where you've got Pet Sim, you've got some other cool things, especially this adorable looking Lucky. But you've also got all the way down here some really cool and creepy. I assume this is from Doors, likewise, this thing. The newbie's saying, to be fair, Gooseworks used to make Super Mario songs. Uh, remixes, so it makes sense that this character looks a bit like Peach, but also why the theme tune sounds very much like a Mario intro, right? It kind of goes hand in hand. Uh, I can see that uh, is an anglefish. Uh, you're correct, you're correct. An evil bubble, apparently. And here you've got the Luigi's Mansion. Well, I think this is the entrance to the mansion. It's the first time and the only time you really see this until you complete the game. But overall, this is, at the moment, all the characters we have. As you can see on the screen, you have this mannequin. It's a slightly different color to the ones we've seen previously. I don't know if this means it's like a Candy Kingdom variant, or maybe it's just a water version. But then you've got this new character of the Ghost Lady. Again, I don't know if there's a name for that. I don't know if any of you guys know in the video or if you guys know watching that you can put in the comments below to let me know. But how can we forget about the most adorable one? Well, it's not adorable. It's probably actually one of the coolest ones. And that is... Well, I put it up as a cowboy croc, but I've been corrected by Quackers by saying it is... I think he said a detective dinosaur? Is that right, Quackers? Is that what you said it was? It was a detective dinosaur? Yes! Okay, fair enough. So, yeah, this character here, I'm really keen to see who he's out hunting because something like this, a detective, he's only out for one reason, right? He's got to figure out who has hurt who. And I have a suspicion that this poo monster we've got here is the one he's trying to catch because it's obviously uh, killed one of the mannequins, which is why we've got a blue ghost-like mannequin. So, now I've sussed the story. I think what we should do to have a bit of fun is to see which character is the fastest because I do believe they run at a different speed, but hey, let's have a look to see what happens. So on the count of three, we've got three, two, one, go! And we're running, we're running, and oh my goodness, are you telling me I'm like one of the slowest ones here? Oh, look! Wait, 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 wait. I didn't see who actually made it out of these two. So we're going to do one more race against the ghost and the orbsman because I want to see... Who is the fastest? Because I clearly, I clearly came third in that one. Go! And they are now off. Look at them go. Oh, Hugo's joined them as well. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! 
It was a very close finish, but I'm going to have to give the win to this adorable ghost thing right here, which looks like a looky with a body. Yes, it does. But if you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you've done some of these. It's super appreciated, and we will catch you in the next video. Remember the boot, the snoot.